What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And this one I want to make a very, very quick update video on the markets. I'm going to be very quick for this one. Let me first say that I'm not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo Moo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to five free stocks. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market. SPY has over a million puts expiring, and we're just seeing another short squeeze as shorts are getting uh, squeezed right now. A lot of shorts are covering, and we're continuing to see the market pump. SPY ended up holding above 436, at least as of right now. It's holding up nicely. On the four hour time frame, it looks like it's going for 438, and that looks like a really good target. Looks like there's more upside coming nonetheless. So 438 is on the table going into early next week, and that's when we might see the rejection. I personally underestimate how much this thing would run because this is the, the biggest run we've seen in years. It just ran so hard so fast. We were at 409 this time last week. Now we're at 436. It takes so much money just to move SPY $1, and this thing pumped like crazy. So yes, I mean, it looks like it's not done yet. I know I was saying that there might be a pullback coming. We're not ready yet. It's going to push a little bit more before we get that pullback, but we're very overbought on the daily. Not, not the daily, the four hour and the smaller time frames. On the daily, we still have a little bit more room, but you could argue that the daily is just way too insane. We've pumped way too much, guys. Just look at this trend. We pushed up, we gapped up and pushed up, we gapped up and pushed up, pushed up, we gapped up and pushed up even more. I could see a little bit more towards this 438 area, but there's going to be tight resistance there, and that could slow things down. But it still looks like there's more coming. It's absolutely insane. Tesla looks very bullish on the weekly, but we are showing some weakness. It might actually pull back a little bit. Uh, just a little bit after getting this little pop. We were talking about that in the morning, a little pop and drop on Tesla. It might come down uh, just to cool off in a very healthy manner before we end up pushing higher. But later on, I see Tesla eventually filling this gap up to the 240 plus area over the next few weeks. So it's not done whatsoever. Look for a little pullback on Tesla before it continues. When it comes to Apple, Apple has a gap to fill on the smaller time frames. You could see without the extended hours, Apple, uh, it ended up gapping down from where it was yesterday uh, because of its earnings, but it's trying to rebound. So we could see this thing make an attempt to push up to fill this gap. So we're going to be watching this very, very carefully. Finally, when it comes to NVIDIA, NVIDIA is even stronger than expected. NVIDIA is just continuing to hold up very, very nicely. So in my opinion, uh, NVIDIA has more potential. It just continues to pop. It does not look like it's actually ready yet to pull back. It's even stronger than expected. So on NVIDIA, you're going to be watching this resistance real quick. You're going to be watching uh, 455 and then 458 to 460 as the next levels. We could see NVIDIA pump more before we see some uh, somewhat of a pullback. But as of right now, it's still looking kind of strong. Watch support at 452.5. Then we have 450 below that. Watch them carefully. NVIDIA is holding up nicely, and we may see this thing continue to push. The QQQ is also a little bit overbought, but there could be a little bit more room thanks to Apple. Uh, it's getting very close to that 370 resistance, not that far from 368. You can see right here we have some tight resistance in the 370 to 371 area. I think this is going to act as a tight resistance for the triple Q. So make sure you watch this uh, very, very carefully. And this could slow things down early on next week, but we could pump a little bit more first. We could hit 370 first before we see this thing cool off. So we're going to be watching these levels carefully, and that's it for now, guys. So the market's even stronger than expected. It could keep going a little bit more, but please remain calm, cool, and collect and do what you have to do. All right, guys, thank you again, and peace out.